from the Bureau of Labor Statistics. The median pay is $38,000 a year, $18 per hour. $38,000 spread pretty thin, and that money is hard work for. We might love what we do as personal trainers, but we work hard for the money. So I'm going to explain a little bit about how this number ends up this way. We take a look at this right here, that NASM certified personal trainers were earning $44,000, NSCA were earning 43, ACSM was earning 41. So these personal trainers that are credentialed, that have you know one of the governing body certifications, they're making more money than your average trainer. Trust me when I say that I believe that you guys love what you do, but also trust me when I say if you're training client 40 hours a week, you are going to be absolutely exhausted. Now we have the 5 a.m. to 9 a.m. segment of the workday, which is before your typical business hours. So you've you got four hours there, and then you've got your four hours in the evening, eight hours in the day typically, and then also if you're a starting out trainer, you're gonna probably work some Saturdays and some Sundays. I'm gonna say a 30 hour work week in this particular example. So let's say you're working 30 hours of training means that you have in the range of 15 clients, which is great. A lot of trainers don't have a client pool that's over 10 people because administrating for 10 people is intimidating. So let's say you've got 30 hours, which is basically a client pool of 15, which would mean that you've been training for over a year if you built up that type of clientele or you're an all-star at what you do. What is the going rate for a personal trainer, typically 60 to $80 an hour, pretty common price. You make half of that, if you make 50% of what that client is paying, that's a good deal for you. And it doesn't mean that the gym, they're not trying to be mean to you. If they're paying you 50% of what that client is paying, they like you. Let's say you're making $25 an hour for that training session and you got 30 of those training sessions. That's not bad. And for the week, you're making $750. Multiply that by four and take it monthly, you're earning $3,000 a month. If you take that through 12 months, you're earning $36,000 a year. I wanted to share with you guys this math because it's not a lot of money and people are working really hard for that. It's hard work. It says here, our aspir aspirations should be groups, not individual clients. And therefore our titles should be trainer or coach rather than personal trainer. Refer to yourself as a trainer, strength coach, whatever. I just, I wouldn't put personal on there. Going into group training advantages, it's more economical for the client. It's less expensive per person, but more money for the trainer. Instead of charging somebody 40 to $60, and you could charge $20 for a group session. So it's economical. Is it fun? Oh yeah, when you make something fun, people get wicked results. All of a sudden they stop thinking about weight loss or their goal. That actually becomes, and a group dynamic has a huge element to that. This is right in the CrossFit Level 1 certification course. CrossFit is quite simply a sport. We have learned that harnessing the natural camaraderie, competition, and fun of sports or games yields an intensity that cannot be matched by other means. It's our observation that men will die for points. Using whiteboard as scoreboards, keeping accurate scores and records, running a clock, and precisely defining the rules and standards of performance, we not only motivate unprecedented output, but derive both relative and absolute metrics at every workout. This data has important value well beyond motivation. So are they aware of this social component of this motivation? motivating factor in CrossFit, you better believe it. And this is one of the reasons why, you know, CrossFit's not going away. And as competitive as it is, the people that are in last place get cheered on the most. Doesn't matter whether you come last, first, or somewhere in the middle, everybody's still high-fiving and knuckle-bumping each other. Then you've got the social support that goes along with that community. When things are difficult for you to do, there's also other people that you know, that you associate with, that you're connected with on social media, that you 
hang out with on Friday or Saturday nights or whatever, those people have a powerful influence on us and can really encourage us. So that's what we call that social support. And then the other benefit is group training is results based. Only 5% of the people that took out gym memberships this year are actually going to realize their fitness goals without the help of a personal trainer or some sort of proper program design component. Group training advantage for the trainer, you're maximizing your peak hours. It's more money per session. You got that 8 a.m. hour on Monday and Wednesday that everybody wants. They don't want to train with you if they have to get up at 5 or 6 a.m. in the morning, but if you can get them on the 8 o'clock session, they'll do it. You can get eight people in on that Monday, Wednesday time frame. You're also able to influence more people for your time, and it's more hyper-focused, and you're not as exhausted, and it's just way more fun, way more fun. What I wanted to show you guys right here to just completely ring your bell. So this is my group training rates or what I charge to group training. We start off at the bottom here and we only have four people in the group and we're meeting with them twice per week. I charge $20 for each person per session. If I'm training four people at $20 an hour, how much am I making per session? 80 bucks. How much money am I making per week? Because I'm meeting with each of these groups twice a week. Hundreds $60 a week. Let's factor this into a system where we're actually doing this as a career. So if we have three of those groups that we're only training twice a week, how many hours is that of actual on the floor coaching? Six hours that we're training on the floor. If we have three groups that we're meeting twice a week, weekly we're making just under $500 a week, $1,000 a month. What were we making as a trainer working 30 hours on the floor? $3,000 a month group training only doing six hours of work on the floor a week you're making a little under two thousand dollars let's take that up a notch we've got that same group of four but they want to train with you three times a week you're making eighty dollars an hour but you're making two hundred and forty dollars a week let's say you've got three groups that's nine hours that you're training them on the floor per week nine hour work week you're making seven hundred and twenty dollars a week you're making just under three thousand dollars a month you're making making $34,000 a year. This is something that's doable part-time supplementing another job. This is something a full-time mom can do. Now, for the clients that I have doing weight loss, let's go over here to the $30 an hour rubric. If somebody is wanting to lose weight, I add a private Zoom session to go over food log and calorimetry. Even though when we train, I'm with them, I'm in a group setting, and we go over food logs and meal prepping and it's a private zoom session once a week and I factor that in to the workout fee so it's $30 per session if you have four people that meet three times a week and they're paying $30 a session you're making $120 an hour hands up if you're okay with making 120 bucks an hour yeah I don't know too many people that would turn that down so and you're only working nine hours on the floor if you have three of those groups you're making fifty thousand dollars a year do you guys see how this is more advantageous than doing private sessions so our focus shouldn't really be on the private sessions now I'm not saying that you can't do private sessions Sometimes the private sessions get you here. Anyway, when we're talking about group training, I want you to think about this stuff, possibility of making anywhere from 80 to $240 an hour. If you have a group of eight people that are all interested in weight loss and they're meeting with you three times a week, and you make that training session not only effective, but super wicked fun, they'll pay for that, especially if you're able to prove that you're getting results. You can do that. You can be making $240 a session. It's a doable thing.